When I was still living in sin and I was living in the world, um, I had become backslidden and I had known the truth of Jesus and I had been walking with him for a while, um, but I had turned back to the world. I spoke about it in one of my previous videos. Jesus actually gave me a dream uh, when one of my high school friends, he passed away. It was one of the first times in my life that somebody that was kind of close to me had actually died. And this person was very young. Um, he was in his early 20s, no older than 23. Um, so I was very shaken up by this. Um, and for a few days, I just couldn't even really stop thinking about it. Um, and I want to tell you what the dream was. So in my dream, I was um, under the ground. Like if the ground level is right here, um, I was right here. Um, I was inside of the earth. Um, and it was as if the earth above me was completely sealed and I knew that I was dead um, in that dream or that that was what was going to happen after death. Um, and I knew that it was, a, it was sealed, the ground was sealed. There was no coming back onto the surface of the earth. It was sealed above me and I remember I was like crouched over. Um, I could feel it, like I could feel the ground was above me but I just knew that I was never gonna be on the earth again. It was no option. It was as if I was trapped underneath there. Um, and what, <clears throat> what was um, in front of me um, was like if you've ever been to McDonald's play place or Chick-fil-A play place or just any of those play places um, where it's got the slides and there's usually like the big bubble um, it's like the big bubble and then you um, sit in there and then you go down the slide so it was like one of those um, except it was all the bubble part was all earth and it was rock and it was all extremely extremely hot i mean it was like coals and it was very very hot there was like um f fire and um it was very hot and it was a big opening like as if one of those slides it was a big opening that went down into the earth Um, and I remember that I was not yet, it was not yet my turn to go down the tunnel. Um, but even getting into that, I was, I was so scared because getting into that fiery bubble or that fiery opening um, to go down into the earth, I was so fearful. But I knew, Jesus told me in my spirit that if I did not stop living the way that I was living, that was going to be my faith, that that was inevitable. That would be my fate down the center of the earth to hell. The time to get right with Jesus is now. You don't know when you're going to die and don't wait until there's no return, until you're dead and there's no return from it. And at that point, you can't repent. You can't cry out to Jesus. Don't wait until it's too late. Our life is but a vapor. We're here for a second and we're gone. Don't wait until you are forced to go down to hell. Don't wait until you have no other option. Today is the day for salvation. Jesus stands at the door and he knocks. And if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Just turn to him and he will lead you into all truth. Go and talk to him. Talk to him. Go and be somewhere alone. Get on your knees in prayer. Just go and speak to him. He's waiting for you. He loves you. And he wants you to turn to him so that you might be saved, so that that isn't your fate. Jesus bless you.